me, Sienna, and I just wanted to touch base with y'all really quick. Pause. I meant to say two months, my bad. And I'm really sorry about that. There's actually a few reasons for that. And because I don't have the community tab, it's kind of hard for me to keep y'all updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Number one, I'm not quitting YouTube. If I was gonna quit, I would have the decency to let y'all know some kind of way. And I was actually asked recently if I was quitting and that is not the case at all. So number one, when I started doing YouTube, I was thinking about the long term. I was just thinking that I was going to be doing this for a long time and preparing myself to be making videos for years at a time because number one, I like making videos and I think I put out really good videos to be honest. So I was just thinking about the fact that this was going to be a big commitment if I was to start. What I didn't think about was the short term. So the way I had it set up was I filmed my first video, put it out, and then I was just going to keep doing it weekly. That is not a good system. If you're thinking of having a YouTube, I would recommend stacking a few videos. You know what I mean? And I really wish I had done that. So that's one thing that I'm working on right now is just recording a, a solid little chunk of videos so that I have something to put out because there's been a few times now where I've recorded a video. I just did one not that long ago. Spent all this time recording it, started editing it, and I hated it. And I'm a perfectionist, to be honest. So if I don't like it, it's just not going to happen. You're never going to see it. And that is what has happened to me a few times now. So, yeah, it's just, it just sucks because when I do it this way, if I don't have a video ready to go, when that time comes for me to upload, I just have nothing to present. And it looks like I just, like, you know what I mean? From y'all's point of view, it probably looks like I just, like, didn't do anything. I didn't show up for work. That's not the case. I just didn't like what I came up with and had nothing to show like y'all, unfortunately. So yeah, number two, just hectic personal life. I have a full-time job, like pretty much everybody else. And I have a vacation coming up in January that I'm preparing for. It's the holidays. I'm trying to like stack and save and buy gifts. It's just been a really, really hectic little chunk of time. Um, so yeah, currently I'm just gonna pull back, a little pull back so that I can record a solid set of videos and that way when it comes to uploading I can just have things scheduled ready to go on time. It is like I said a little difficult to maneuver that between having a full-time job, my free time, and my other responsibilities but I want to do it so I'm going to do it. I just wanted to let y'all know that I wasn't just disappearing from the face of the earth. If you see me take a little bit of a break, it's just there's always just something happening, you know what I mean? And I can't wait for the day that I have a thousand subs and I can actually keep you guys updated. But even if I had 20 subs, I would be doing this because I don't. I know there's somebody out there who's like, dang, I wish you would upload a video. There's at least one person. There's at least one person waiting for me. So I just want to say I'm so sorry, but just give me a little bit of time to get my little stack of videos ready to go so that I can give you guys more consistent uploads. Okay, so secondly, I know that I was talking about doing videos with my ginger hair. Ginger hair Sienna, she's being retired. I'm just going to be honest. Ginger hair Sienna, she's done. Um, her time on this earth, it's over with. So T, basically, I messed up my hair really bad. And I feel like it's not right to make videos about hair just to like hide the truth you know what I mean um so yeah my my channel was never even supposed to be a hair channel t number two but we'll get into that later um so yeah basically I bleached my hair twice in one day terrible idea and I lost like a little chunk a little chunk Rooney okay whatever um but then the second time I bleached it what I did was I put my my shower head on like the full pressure, like you know what I mean? Because I was afraid I wasn't gonna rinse it all out. And I I learned after the fact that you're supposed to rinse out bleach on like a low pressure. So basically, I had bleach in my hair and I did the high pressure and it just ripped my hair all up. So I'm honestly, I'm really sad about it. I'm actually really sad about it, but I'm trying to truck through. This is not my first time having a hair. Um, issue or like catastrophe with my hair so I'm just gonna give it a break but the next time you see me 
Ginger hair Cena is gone. These bangs are stiff because I've been putting oil and product and any kind of little moisture retention. What's that one oil? That hair that hair growth oil in the green bottle. Everyone's talking about. I got that. I got the rice water uh, hair lotion stuff. I'm giving my hair a break because I. Oh, and it's crazy because this girl that I that I am YouTube with on TikTok, she was like, just get a wig. You don't need to bleach your hair. And I was like, no, I'm going to be doing styles. I'm going to be doing da 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 No, no, because I can't even do braids. Like, I did not, I'm not, hire a professional is what I'm trying to say. If you can, if you can, get a professional because I can't even do a braid because under here, this, if I start parting, no. No, no. So this was fun, it was cute, it was a great experience. I can say that I did it, I'll have a funny story, you know, to say like, LOL, <laughs> but no, I'm, I, Pfft. next time y'all see me, no, I'm dying my hair back, I'm getting some braids and I'm gonna take a hair hiatus because, oh, the regret. Anyway, yeah. So just to be fully honest, that's what's going on in my life and I'm just not, feeling great hair wise so to explain my channel not supposed to be a hair channel or whatever um basically what i wanted to do for my channel was a commentary channel i love commentary channels i think i have so many good you know opinions and, and insights that i think people would really like so that's what my intention was i started with my glasses video because i thought i could do product reviews in between the heavy topic videos and that would kind of even everything out people could see different sides of me Da, 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 da. Um, so I started with the glasses video um, and then I did the uh, Sassina hair clip-in video when I was preparing for like, you know, a next step. And after I did this, the hair video, I started getting all these recommendations or not recommendations. I started getting all these emails and requests um, to do hair reviews. So I was like, oh, bet, you know, I'm going to be doing my hair anyway. So it's fine, I'll just put it on YouTube. I never was intending to be like a guru or like teach people anything. I'm just doing whatever I'm gonna do anyway on camera. Um, and then I ended up scrapping the commentary idea for a few reasons and I feel like I'll consider it again later. But right now, I just feel like it's not the best idea. I just feel like there's so much heavy stuff in media and I literally watch commentary all day, all the time on YouTube anyway. And that's kind of why I decided to do the Makeup and Fairy Tale series because I feel like outside of all the heaviness that we're seeing and all like the serious topics, it would be nice for people to just have like a little break. You know, if you want to watch makeup or listen to like a, a fairy tale, you should be able to and to get a little, a little break from like the heaviness that we all have to deal with every single day. So, so yeah, I am going to consider it again one day. I feel like I do have a lot of good insights that people would really like to hear. Um, I just don't think it's the best move currently but check out the makeup and fairy tales i mean come on it's there it's not like i'm doing nothing i'm just not doing that right now so yeah that's it that's all um i just wanted to check in with y'all like i said one day i will be able to actually hop on the little community tab and be like hey y'all this is what's going on but until then i don't mind making a little video just so no one thinks i'm disappearing on them and um oh another thing i wanted to do a q a i really want to do q a i want to answer questions and really let you guys know more about me anything specific so if you want to ask a question to be answered in a future q a video please leave it down below if you have like anything um I, i'm gonna be featuring the questions in the video so if you want to be anonymous feel free to reach out to me via instagram a little anonymous dm or whatever if you want to do it that way but yeah just leave a question below and i will feature it in a question and answer video and i think that's everything yeah, I think it's everything. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. I I'm going to be doing a video about my vacation too coming up. It's in January. I'm not going to vlog it, but I'm going to like talk about it when I come back. So yeah, I'm not going to say too much because I'm very excited. But yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Ooh.